welcome to my youtube channel a primary of seven today i am going to solve the fourth assignment of geotechnical engineering 2 first question the results of two drained triaxial test on a saturated clay are so drained triaxial test means there is no pore water present actually for both u is equal to 0 u is equal to 0 so in this test total stress analysis effective stress analysis both are one and the same clear you need to remember that point okay so is may koi pore water pressure ka data nahi diya okay don't get confused with that okay so now cell pressure corresponding to sample number 1 and deviator stress at failure was given the same cell pressure and deviator stress values were given for sample number 2 also so he has given he has taken two trials we need to calculate effective coercion in question number one and effective angle of internal friction so he has given it is a drained test he has asked it is a effective shear strength parameters okay so whatever total shear strength parameters both effective shear strength parameters both are one and the same so according to the given data so sample one Sigma C is equal to obviously it will become minor principal stress sigma 3 it is 80 and sigma 1 is equal to sigma C plus sigma D that is 80 plus 141 point 141.5 and for sample 2 so first we will go with sample 1 so we will get we know sigma 1 is equal to sigma 3 tan square alpha plus 2c tan alpha so sigma 1 is this total summation will become 221 221.5 is equal to 80 tan square alpha plus 2c tan alpha this is equation number 1 okay now coming to sample number 2 sigma c is equal to 160 that is sigma 3 and sigma 1 is equal to sigma c plus sigma d that is equal to 160 plus 223.5 that will be 383.5 and in the same equation 383.5 is equal to 160 tan square alpha plus 2c tan alpha so if you detect 2 from 1 you will get 80 tan square alpha is equal to 162 so tan alpha is equal to Uh, it will be 162 divided by 80 and so you will get alpha is equal to 54.9 degrees you know alpha already is equal to 45 plus pi by 2 if you will solve for value of pi is equal to 19.8 degrees so that is the angle of internal friction is 19.8 degrees and now effective coefficient put the value there you will get effective coefficient c is equal to 20.9 kilo newton per meter square okay so that is 20.9 kilo newton per meter square so the effective coefficient will become 20.9 and angle of internal friction will become 19.8 clear and very conceptual question back part back pressure in the triaxial test is applied for dissipation of pore pressure so back pressure is applied only for saturate the sample it is not for the purpose to dissipate the pore water pressure okay so this is a false statement i am writing here back pressure is applied for saturation of sample clear not for dissipation of pore pressure Clear. So the answer is false for question number three. And obviously, this is a uh, in this assignment all the results of triaxial test. Clear. So in this, whenever you draw a curve, shear stress and normal stress, it will take maximum values for unconfined, unconsolidated, undrained test. And this is consolidated drained test. This will be consolidated undrained test. So the option. A for question number 4. Okay, this is a just a result of uh, triaxial test. Direct question to answer. 
and obviously if you draw a shear stress and uh, these more circles will be same throughout so especially here angle of internal friction will be phi and this value is c this test is for unconsolidated undried test that is option c for question number 5 and skemptons four pressure parameters is a function of ocr obviously this there are two parameters a and b these are called skemptons four pressure parameter so generally he asked about a so a will depend upon strain anisotropy and sample disturbance and so over consolidation ratio so it is a true statement and next there is one more graph that is tau and axial strain so this first curve is it is having perfect peak that is it is related to dense sand or over consolidated clay this is related to loose sand or normal consolidated clay clear so this is oc and nc option 2 for question option b for question number 7 and rubber membrane surrounding the sample in triaxial test uh, results in generally uh, we will place some rubber membrane like balance big balance so i know which balance you will use uh, you might be using so for conduction of uh, triaxial test so by providing this membrane rubber membrane will it give overestimation or underestimation because of confinement from all the sides it will take more load okay so it will give overestimation of the results overestimation of the peak strength okay so option a for question number eight and there is an interlinked question. In a triaxial test, a soil sample was consolidated under a cell pressure of 800 kN per meter square and a back pressure 450 kN per meter square. Thereafter, with the drainage not allowed, the cell pressure was raised. So, what is the value of A and B? So, we know B is equal to delta U1 divided by delta sigma 3. That is in the confining stage, the change in pore water pressure to the change in effective stress so the change in pore water pressure is 545 minus 450 and effective pressure will be 900 minus 800 you will get it is 0.95 and you will have a definition for a b is equal to delta u2 divided by delta sigma 1 minus delta sigma 3 you will calculate this 740 minus 545 675 minus 900 minus 900 so you will get it is 0.289 from this you will get a is equal to 0.289 divided by 0.95 it will be 0.304 so a will be 0.304 and b will be 0.95 clear so all the questions are only related to triaxial test okay so it is better to listen the complete triaxial test procedure once Okay, if you have any doubts, you just post your comments. And so many people are asking for uh, different different subjects. Actually, I asked you to request for the civil engineering subjects. Generally, I am teaching nine subjects and providing solutions for the nine subjects. Uh, in the next semester, I will take a request from you guys only. Then, what are all the required subjects? I will try to provide each and every uh, subject. Okay, thank you.